What is up everyone, welcome to the video. I'm in my garage as you can tell. I've got the Z3 behind me and tonight I've decided to fix the leaking that is coming from the pillar. So a quick backstory before we get into the fix. I've had this car for about four or five months and when I bought it, it came with the hard top on it. Now for the first couple of months of me having it, we didn't really have that much rain so I didn't have any issues with leaking. But over the last sort of three months, we've been having a lot of rain and I noticed whenever I would leave the car and come back, my seats would be wet so I knew there was something not right there. Now with this being my first ever convertible car I didn't really think too much into the leaking sort of things because if you're smart you buy a convertible when it's coming into summer. I bought this when it was coming into well when winter was just starting so yeah. Anyway I'll start off by telling you what the problem was and then we'll move on to fixing it now. When I was searching on YouTube I could not find any videos of anyone else doing this to a Z3 uh, especially going in depth with it so I'm going to show you how to do it. It's really simple and hopefully it will fix the leaking. So first off let's open the car and get these windows down out the way so we can see what we're doing. Right if it looks a little weird it's because I've got an LED light on the top of the camera because it's quite dark in the garage. Now obviously this is the soft top on the car at the moment. The top is down. I did have the hard top on as I mentioned. The reason that is off is because that's what was leaking. Now the soft top so far has not leaked at all. It has been really dry. Nothing's come in so I've kept that on for the pure reason of I didn't want water getting on my leather and electrics and shit like that and ruining it. But I want to put the hard top back on because we've still got like a couple of months left of rain and I haven't sealed the soft top yet so I don't want that getting soaking and ruined. I want to keep that for the summer and while I've got the hard top I may as well use it. Right so hopefully you can see this decently enough. This is where the problem lies. It's the little rubber seal that's at the top of the frame. Now if you look here this is where the water is coming in. Just to the right of this, or just in front, there's this little hole here. Now this is the drainage hole, so obviously when it rains, the water comes in here, drains through that hole and goes all the way down there. You do not want to get any sealant in that because then you will definitely have leaks coming into your car. Now, if you're looking at your car with the top off and this is full of crap, then the first thing you want to do is clear that out because that's where your problem could be straight away. Mine doesn't look too bad, so we're all right there. Now, supposedly this little bit of rubber is where the problem lies. As you can see, it's not completely sealed. There's little splits in it, which is allowing water to get into that. And then if you can imagine when there's a hard top on the car, you're sat there, the water's coming in from the very corner of the pillar and it's very annoying because you're sat there, the water is obviously dripping on your knee. It's a right pain in the ass. So this is what we're going to be sealing up today is this little bit here. A couple of videos before I mentioned that I had a leak on the hard top and someone kindly commented below and left me a link to a forum which had a PDF file which basically told me about how to do this fix and everything you will need. So I will link that in the top line of the description. So if you want to do this, you can check that out and follow it along with this video. So all you're going to need is a cloth to clean off any shit that is on your seal if there's any on there. You're going to also need some rubber sealant obviously. Now this one is called Sikaflex Crystal Clear. Anything that will seal rubber and is weather resistant, that is what you want. If you can get something that's like, you know, temperature resistant as well, then you're in for a winner. There, it's on. You need to hold it like that. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. What do you hold on a minute? Where's the fucking tissue paper? How much have you put on there? <laughs> So we're doing it around the edge first to make sure that it gets in all the crack. Once we've done this, we'll go over the top of it then to make sure that it's properly sealed. The only skin that's on there now is that, that's flat, and look in there. Yeah. So that is the passenger side done now. As you can see, all we did is just clean it off, then pack in as much sealant as you can into the gaps. It doesn't have to be tidy straight away. Once you can see that it's spewing over the top, you know it's full with sealant. So then you just want to put a layer over the complete top of the tab and just make sure you can level it out as much as you can just so you get just so the hard top gets a nice connection with the rubber. Once you've done that, you pretty much just leave it. I'm just going to do the driver's side now and then we will be pretty much done. Now we're doing the driver's side. As you can see, there's a little bit, I don't know if you can see that, a little bit of moisture in there. That's where obviously where the water's got in and the gaps are letting even more water in, so that is what you're sealing up to stop the water getting through. Oh, 
All right, so we are done and dusted. That was really simple. That's all we need to do for now. So both joints have been resealed. Hopefully we got enough in there so that it got in right in the crack. That's what. When you are putting the rubber sealing into the joint, you wanna make sure you just pack in as much as you can so that it gets in all the cracks and don't push too hard down on it when you're rubbing the excess off because if you push down too hard, it'll just pull the rest of the sealant out. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Obviously it's a bit more of a boring video compared to like a part install or something like that that I usually do, but I am part of a couple of Z3 pages on Facebook and I put a post on there asking if anyone would be interested in me doing this video and it got a lot of response, a lot of feedback, so that's why I decided to do this. And also when I was looking myself, I couldn't find any videos specifically on the Z3 that actually told you what to do. So I hope it helps a lot of you guys. If it does, please leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Also leave a comment down below, let me know if you enjoyed the video or if you have a Z3. And also if you've got any video suggestions that you would like me to do, drop them down there. I read all the comments and reply to them all, so it would be very much appreciated. So I'm gonna leave the car to set now, I'm gonna go in and what I will do is if you look on the top comments of this post, I will pin the comment letting you know if it has actually sealed or not. Because I'm going to get this video uploaded, but obviously you're going to want to know if it works or not. So check the comments out. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Once again, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.